and uh, let's see what happens. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. So here we are. We got back today. We got our bolts that are a better size, and we got our terminal joint compound, which is designed to transfer heat from electronics. There is one thing I need to do here before we get too far. Bring them down to nothing and put a little washer on there because they're broke right off. And they're no goody. So let's do that first. So we'll set that there. I'll grab some air. Well, there's a few different ways of doing this, but I'm going to do it this way. Some bit shut off. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the controller to the plate, which is right here. Are you looking? Probably not. Right here. We're gonna mount the controller on the plate because that's what I think we need to do next. Well, there's one, there's two, and there's three. All right, so we're good to go. We're gonna flip this over like so, and we're gonna take some of this stuff like so, and we're just gonna give it a little spread job. Not a lot, just a little, just like that. Don't need too much of this, but I'm gonna put about that much, just so we get good heat transfer. Probably shouldn't get this on my fingers, but hey, it is what it is. Just give it a wipe off, there you go. So now we'll throw this on here, and we'll throw on some screws. There she is, Jim. It's not the easiest thing to get into here, as you can see. Kinda tucked in there they are. Snug, snug, snug. Careful. So that's mounted to the heat sink. So now what we need to do is we need to find screws that will go through this plate and then the mounting plate and hold the other thing. I'm pretty sure these will work. Not 100%. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. Slap a couple washers on here and come on over here and you can see what I'm talking about. So I made these brackets up because the other brackets were broke because that mounts right like that. So this mounts to here like this. So whatever I do, I need a bolt that's going to be long enough to go through that, and that's not. So we need longer. Longer than that, which I should be able to locate. They're a little longer. They might work. Anything longer than that? That's a little longer. That's too long. That's not long enough. That's not, not right. That won't work. That's not there. This isn't that. No, that's not it. That's not even them. This isn't that. Is this this? Nope, that's not even that. So that won't work. So that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. This is not that. That's not this. That could not work, but it's not gonna. This will work. These should work. Friggin' right, they should. So if we do that on that and wing nut it, we should be all right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I sure the fuck don't. But hey, why would I, right? So slap them on there, and I'll look for some nuts that fit that, maybe. Can't rush a good thing, eh? There are all sorts of bolts with no nuts. How's that happen? Oh, there it is, and they're locked up to even. So I found these ones, which will work just fine, because if I put them through, and then put a nut down through it, it will actually do what I'm wanting to show you what I want to do. So let's do that right now. So we'll mount this to this. This isn't stock. Nothing stock going on right here, right now. So we'll slap this in here, and we're gonna have to slap two on there, by the looks of it. So we'll slap this on like this, and then we'll slap this on like this, Wait till you see this. This is gonna blow your mind. See with the nuts in here, it keeps a little gap on that so it doesn't touch anything. So that's kind of nice. It'll just kind of float there and sit there and look real good. Freaking right. So now what we'll do is we'll go F1, we'll go F2, we'll go B plus, we'll go A1, and then we'll go, that goes to positive battery, and this goes to negative battery, which is B minus. So we'll slap the B minus on there. So we're gonna do her this way, Captain. Perfect. We'll hook up the controller main plug. Actually, that needs to go. Oh god, what have I done? Frank sakes. Gotta hope the signal doesn't blow up as soon as I plug it in. I really suck ass. This can plug into here. There we go. This goes to goes over there. This goes to here. And then this goes to here. Which should be a little bit tighter than that. Let's get a pair of pliers. That goes to there. A four by four, which goes to this guy, or six by six, sorry, which goes to this guy. Perfect. And then we got another harness, which goes over to these, which is reverse and forward. And then we got spade positive, spade negative, Captain. So there's that. This is the on and off. 
And this one goes to the actual charging out port. She's right there. Dinner stand. So there we go, that's how all that goes. And then of course this goes to the box that has a tow switch. So we'll plug that in right now. And we'll put her in tow. Tow maintenance, there you go. So that's some tow maintenance. So what we gotta do now is just tighten up all these wires. These are tight, so we'll tighten up this. And then we'll get uh, get ourselves some batteries and see what happens. Do you want to see that tonight or tomorrow night? Leave your comments down below and let me know. I think you want to see it tonight. I do. Let's do it. Okay, so I grabbed the shittiest three batteries I have, which are 12 volt batteries. Normally this cart comes with six 6 volts, but we're going to go three 12 volts and run them in parallel to make 36 volts. But I didn't do it yet because I wanted to show you how I do that. If you don't know, which you probably do know if you're watching this video. But just in case you don't know, I'm going to show you. Why wouldn't I? Let me just go back and get my wire because I forgot it. So just so you know, on a battery, if you ran positive, 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 negative, 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 that's in series. So it'd still be 12 volts and it just lasts longer. But we want to up the voltage. So we're going to go from positive to negative and then from positive to negative over here. So we'll connect those two batteries first. So we go positive to negative. Actually, that cord's too long. Hold on, I think I got the right ones for this. There to there. So we'll slap a bolt on here. So this is a positive one. So that gets a smaller one. I gotta remember how these bolts go. They're different sizes, eh? There we go. And then we go from positive to negative to this battery. There we go. And this cord's still too long. Let's change that out. All right, there we go. So we'll tighten that one down, first of all. So now by doing this, you make one big giant cell. So now this is your positive and that's your negative. And all in between is juice spruce. Now if you want to run a stereo in this cart, you go off of just one battery to your stereo. And that's how you keep it at 12 volts. But since we're not uh, doing that right now, we don't have to worry about that, but I'll show you that later. So first thing we want to do now is you want to connect the negative to the negative on the charge machine. I don't know if it needs to be hooked up, but I'm going to hook it up anyways, just to play safe and positive. So there we go. So that's that. Now what we want to do is we want to take negative and always hook up negative from the controller to negative first. Always give her the negative field, Jim. So we can tighten that up. I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need to uh, fire this card up for the first time. So we'll tighten that down like that. So that's our negative fields. And now we take the positive side of the solenoid and we go to positive like that. No spark, so we did something right. So we'll tighten that up and there we go. So now we're ready to try this thing. First of all, I'm going to jack up the ass end of her. This is a test, Captain. This is only a test. So we'll jack this up. So I'm not quite center here. Let's get a better center job going. There we go. That's better. All right, so there, she's off the ground. We want to make it so it's in drive. All right, so there's drive. We'll take it off a toe and uh, let's see what happens. Nothing happened. Let's try uh, reverse. This is not a good sign. And it's not showing you any voltage here at all. Greg. And I'm really hoping I didn't get the shaft on it. It's not looking too good right now. 36 volts. So we definitely have 36 volts. I wonder if we got a bad solenoid. That could be too. You have a bad toe switch. It's pretty rusty in there. Well, it's not looking good for the first try here. I'll tell you that right now. One debt to society later. Okay, so we're back with the golf cart here. As you've seen on the previous part of this video, I got it all hooked up and nothing happened. And then they got pretty frustrated and shut the video off. Buddy Steve come over, he's electrician, kind of motor, electric motor rebuilder. He's the one that helped me rebuild that motor back there or did that for me. So that's done, but I still had no power and I couldn't figure out why. So Steve come over tonight and helped me out. Thanks a lot, Steve. And we went through all this wiring to figure out what exactly is wrong. And it turned out there's two things wrong with this cart. And it's not bad because the one thing I have to replace is a part and it's 37 bucks or something. So we got that coming and we're hoping that will get it going. But we got a lot further. We had no power and it wasn't clicking or nothing. And it turned out this wire inside all the sheath was broke right off. So we did retach that and everything like that. So now we've got clicky clicky. So basically when the key's on, everything clicks now. So the part that we need is the part that goes in here, which I guess is pretty common. It's called a resist, a throttle resistance sensor, which is that right there. So if you have an easy go and you're not getting anything when you hit the gas, it's normally this, and if you look real close, I don't know if the camera will show it, it's cracked. So it's probably let water in. These things here should be about 
5 ohm resistance on them. So if you got no resistance on them, then they're garbage. So check across here, if there's not 5 ohms, they're normally junk. And they go right in there under the pedal. So get yourself one of them, and Bob's your friggin' uncle, hopefully. Like I said, we'll have to find out. But we got everything else working, everything else is working great so far. We've tested the motor by jumping it, it works. We've tested the solenoid, it works. Controller, hopefully it's working, which it should be. And the switch is working for the tow mode. Always put your easy go tow mode when you're not using it. Because if you happen to push it somewhere, it's not in tow mode, it can hurt them. I should be back to you in about a week with this thing once I get the part in and we'll see if it runs and if it does, then we can carry on with something good. But that's the part I'm waiting for, right there. So leave any comments down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And I'm looking forward to the next video of putting that piece back in and maybe getting a little bop out of her. A little spin of the tires, a little turn of rotations. And then it'll be just like these and it'll be movable. Friggin' right ain't it well. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am not doing anything I ain't doing. And hang tight until next time. And you know what to do for now.